positive obsession is about not being able to stop just because you're afraid and full of doubts. Positive obsession is dangerous. It's about not being able to stop at all. Sometimes I wrote things because I couldn't say them. Couldn't sort out my feelings about them couldn't keep them bottled inside me. They have no power to improve their lives, but they have the power to make others even more miserable. And the only way to prove to yourself that you have power is to use it. Fantasy is totally wide open. All you really have to do is follow the rules you've set. But if you're writing about science, you have to first learn what you're writing about. I'm trying to speak to write the truth. I am trying to be clear. I'm not interested in being fancy or even original. Clarity and truth will be plenty, if I can only achieve them. If you want to think truly want it, want it so badly that you need it as you need air to breathe, then unless you die, you will have it. Why not? It has you. There is no escape. What a cruel and terrible thing escape would be if escape were possible. First forget inspiration. Habit is more dependable. Habit will sustain you whether you're inspired or not. Habit will help you finish and polish your stories. Inspiration won't. Habit is persistence in practice. You don't start out writing good stuff. You start out writing crap and thinking it's good stuff. And then gradually you get better at it. That's why I say one of the most valuable traits is persistence. Better to stay alive, I said, at least while there's a chance to get free. I thought of the sleeping pills in my bag and wondered just how great a hypocrite I was. It was so easy to advise other people to live with their pain. The world is full of painful stories. Sometimes it seems as though there aren't any other kind and yet I found myself thinking how beautiful that glint of water was through the trees. That's all anybody can do right now. Live. Hold out. Survive. I don't know whether good times are coming back again. But I know that won't matter if we don't survive these times.